Hi, hope everyone's well. Uh, my name is Jessica Jordan, I'm a swim classist from West Sussex. Um, today what I'm just going to use is a new bit of kit. So this is my new pottery wheel. So I had the little tiny one um, that I tried out a couple of months ago and this has been brilliant. This has been absolutely fantastic. So I thought I'd try out a slightly bigger one. So what I'm hoping to do is to have a couple of these um, and then be able to sort of teach um, how to do tiny pots on my pottery eventually, so that's the idea. So um, this is a new bit of kit and we're going to try it out today and see what actually happens and see if it's going to be good. So what you get with this kit is you've got the actual uh, pottery wheel itself, uh, you get some tools, so some little plastic tools. There's also a bigger wheel head as well, so that will just little on there. So that's quite quite good. And all you need to do with this is you just need to um, there's a little tiny hole just there, and um, you use the little Allen key that you get as well, and that has to go underneath this one. And we're just going to twist this out. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So that is the top wheel and we're going to change it over for the slightly larger one. Oops, yeah. Just make sure there's nothing coming in clear. Right, so as you can see it's teeny tiny and we've got to get it in with that. So I'm going to place that onto the there. Straight in. Right, that was much easier that time. So let's turn this on. You have to turn it on the wall. Okay. So that was much easier. So I've put the wheel head on. I'm just going to give it a bit of a jiggle and just make sure it's all right. So you can see the different size there. That's so this apparently is supposed to be able to throw a slightly bigger pot. Um, where you've got the little ones which you can only do a certain amount on that. So we're gonna try it out and see what happens. Really. So let's just make sure it goes on, which it does, and then I've got my adjustable here as well. So I can sort of turn up the speed um, by my little adjustable, or I can sort of turn down the speed like so to, to the point where it stops so let's get some clay on and see if it works <clears throat> and then what i'm going to just do is i'm going to tap it onto the surface and then i'm going to roll on the actual table so it comes up to a almost a little peak I don't want it too bad but so I've got a ball of clay like that and then we're going to place it onto the little head and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press that down as hard as I possibly can onto the surface and then I'm going to use my finger to pull that clay down now I can feel that my clay is quite white um dry actually so i'm not sure how this is going to go yeah, you can see it's quite dry let's get a little bit of water on that and just see if we can make sure that, that sort of sticks on oh opposite way for me The reason why I bought the bigger one is because my other one 
seems to move around. I was hoping that this actually wouldn't move around quite as much. It's not so bad, but again, I still think I'm going to have to put some sort of weight on the bottom of this to actually stop this from sort of jiggling around. Because if I take my finger off and I do it, you can hear it. The motion of the wheel starts to sort of make a noise. If I just hold my finger down on the top surface, it sort of seems to be okay. I suppose the, the nice thing about this actually is that I've got somewhere to rest my hand. So I've got a nice flat surface here, which I can then support my hand to actually sort of push into the clay. So again, I'm actually sort of getting that chance just to sort of push the clay down. Speed wise, it's not particularly great. It's, as I say, it's, it doesn't go at a particularly sort of fast speed, but the other one goes a lot faster actually, the little one. Quite messy again now, I can see it already. And feel it as well. And ever so slightly. I'm going to open this up. So in this pack, we get all these little plastic tools. Now I've used these before with the other one, because it's exactly the same as the other one. I got some lovely little plastic tools. And actually, I really quite like these. My favourite one is that one because I can get a lot of work done with that one. Um, and then I also tend to sort of use that one as well. So these are the two tools. That I tend to use the most when it comes to throwing. Um, sometimes that one is okay, but the top one you don't really need to use. That's normally quite an okay one as well to use, but to be quite honest with these, these ones here, they're not really necessary. So those four out of the pack for me are the best ones to use. That you might might sort of find that different uh, so i'm going to go straight in with the hooky one to begin with and what we're going to do is we're going to open it up so i'm going to go into the, the middle so i've already got a little circle there so i know that's the center and i'm going to go into the center with my tool i'm literally just going to push down and you'll find the clay will start to slow down speed that up just ever so slightly and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly work my way down the centre of the clay, pull out ever so slightly so I can sort of see what I'm doing. And we're going to just start to open this up. We're going to go into the side and we're going to slowly raise our tool up. And it's just going to bring some of the clay up from the bottom to the top. Yeah, I've got a little bit more clay that can go down the bottom there. So what I can do here, I'm just going to use my finger and my thumb just to sort of flatten that out a little bit and also to bring that back to a circle, which we would do when you normally throw, to be quite honest. And then again, just pulling that clay out into the side wall. Just making sure I haven't got loads of clay down in that base. Nice and quiet this wheel actually. My my little one was fine, but the second use it became quite rattly. So whether I've got a bit of clay inside that, I'm not quite too sure. If you notice, every time I go in with a tool, I'm constantly supporting my hand as well. So so that my hand doesn't jiggle about whilst doing this I'm actually supporting my hand at the same time and again you would do that when you normally throw on a, on a larger pottery wheel as well 
again. We're just going to bring some of that quite up. Again, I'm going to go in there with my fingers. I'm just going to pull some of this clay out. You can see as I'm doing that, it's just slowing down ever so slightly as well. So I'm sort of doing like a, a kink with my finger, just to sort of pull some of that clay out. And just straighten it up a little bit as well. Okay, so that was pretty good. Um, a lot of tinkering. Um, the one thing with these little tiny pots is there is a lot of tinkering that has to be done. So ideally I need to dry this out and then do a little bit more trimming on it um, before then taking it off the wheel. But for the first go on it, actually I quite like it. I did, this is quite quite a nice one and this would be quite a nice one to teach on as well actually, um, which is what I'm looking for really more than anything else. Is, um, which one potentially would be better for me to sort of do some teaching of classes on really to be quite honest so um, I've got this little one here which is brilliant it's been really really good um, but 
I have to anchor it down to be able to use it. Um, otherwise, it sort of, um, the motor in it just goes, it sort of makes it a bit wobbly on the table, which is not ideal. But with this one, as long as I'm leaning on it ever so slightly, which I use it as a way of being able to do all the work to it, um, much, much better actually. I'm actually really impressed with this one so far. Um, so I'll give it a, a sort of test out for the next week and sort of see how I get on with it, um, see what happens. I can get much bigger pieces on it as well, which is even better. So I can actually start making some slightly bigger ones. Um, I will try with a bit more of a damper clay next time um, because this clay is far too um, um, dry to be quite honest. Um, but overall quite impressed with my little purchase from Amazon. So uh, keep an eye on the website and you'll see any of the new pots that sort of come out. Keep following, keep liking, keep sharing um, as it all helps. And thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.